Today's video is sponsored by our very own Spring Store, but more about that later. Greetings my excellent friends and thank you for joining me for another episode of Daily Scuba News. Okay, so you've read the title, so I kind of guess you know what this video is all about. But anyway, the Divers Alert Network Europe, also known as DAN, have updated their recommendations for scuba divers who've either had their first or second vaccine jab. How nice is that guys and girls? We can now start talking about diving safely with friends and family once again, and even strangers. Ooh, anyway, shut up, Sean. People want to know about the new updates from Dan. So as we all know, the vast majority of side effects from the jab occur between 24 to 48 hours after you know being stabbed in the arm or wherever else they stab you with these things. I don't know yet because I've not had my vaccine yet. I'm far too young. Anyway, the most common side effects are headaches, mild fever, nausea, dizziness, and of course, pain where, you know, you got stabbed, uh, you know, just to name a few. But Dan have stated that these conditions may be further enhanced by diving conditions such as immersion and pressure. So they're suggesting to all divers who've had their either their first or their second jab not to hit the waters until seven days after, you know, you've been vaccinated. Also, if your side effects last longer than the standard 48 hour period, they suggest that you hold off your dive for a further 14 days um, after your jab. This 14 day recommendation also applies to divers who are planning to exceed the no decompression recreational diving limits. They also insist that even after you've been vaccinated that you follow your country's protocols, i.e. wearing face masks, keep socially distanced, and of course using hand sanitizer and washing your hands when and where you can, and any other instructions, instructions should I say, that your country has. Dan's also gone on to say that divers who've tested positive for COVID-19 but remain asystematic should wait at least 30 days from their last negative test before applying for a fit to dive clearance. Calling all scuba divers want to stand out of the non-diving crowd? Do you want people to know that you're a scuba diver? Well then our very own Spring Store will help you out. We stock tees, stickers, hoodies, phone cases, even mugs that all have a scuba diving theme. From our super popular emotional bolt snap tee, our cave shark sticker to our scuba dude hoodie, we have something for everyone. And our range is becoming more eco-friendly each month thanks to Spring's eco-friendly range. Each order is printed fresh which means less waste, less plastic and it's better for the environment and also helps battle clothing waste as well. To view our full range just click on the link pinned in the comments and hey why not treat yourself to 10% off your total order with the discount code DSN10. That's DSN10. Okay back to the video. You will find the most up-to-date Dan guidelines on diving during this pandemic pinned in the comments below and it's definitely worth a read because it's been a staple for the diving industry over the past year, those guidelines, you know, they're really, really good. But yeah, it's nice to read a story that's about COVID-19 that isn't all doom and gloom. Don't get me wrong, we're not out of the woods yet, but there is a slight light uh, at the end of the tunnel. Get your words right there, Sean. Anyway, I'm going to carry on because I'm a professional. So yeah, guys and girls, if you've just had your jabs, you know, your first or your second jab, just leave it a week or so before you hit up your next dive, you know, to keep yourself safe and obviously to keep others safe around you as well. And that's it for today. Don't forget to get your questions in for Ask Mark. Just use the hashtag Ask Mark and we will track down your question and we will add it to the show. If you miss Daily Deco, then you should definitely check out the Deco Stop podcast where Mark and myself have a good old chinwag about all things scuba diving and the dive brief which goes live on Wednesdays actually goes live as a podcast first on Wednesday morning before the show at midday over on our YouTube channel. So yeah, definitely go check out those shows. If you're watching this on Instagram, then why not heart this video? Uh, maybe leave a comment about your thoughts and why not share it in your stories as well? That would be awesome. And to our YouTube family, don't forget to hit that like button, share it with your diving buddies. And if you haven't already, you should definitely subscribe to our channel. Anyway, thanks for watching. And as always, stay classy, scuba divers.